So what's a mole? Oh, wait, that's the wrong mole. A mole is a really big number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So what's molar mass then? Molar mass is how many grams there are in one mole of something, usually atoms or molecules. Let's go look at my handy dandy periodic table of elements. Ah, let's look at hydrogen up close. The number right below the H is the atomic mass, or the molar mass of the element. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01 .01 grams per mole of atoms of hydrogen. You can use the periodic table to find the atomic mass or molar mass of any element. Let's look at oxygen. Oxygen is a lot bigger than hydrogen, so it's going to weigh more. It's 16 grams per mole. Suppose we have to find out how many hydrogen atoms are in 100 grams of water. How do we do this with moles? It's actually kind of easy. Two moles of hydrogen plus one mole of oxygen equals one mole of water. Add them up and you'll see one mole of water equals 18.02 grams. Now we can answer this question, how many moles of water are there in 100 grams? I won't explain every step because it's kind of obvious, I'm too lazy. Now that we've solved for the moles, we can find the molecules of water. Here comes the easy part. Just multiply that last number with 2, and that is the number of hydrogen atoms in 100 grams of water. So what is molarity? Molarity is a way to measure the concentration of a solute dissolved in a solution. It's written as moles of solute over liters of solution. So if we have 20 grams of salt to dissolve in 100 milliliters of water, what is the molarity of the solution? So we know what the molar mass of sodium is. We have 20 grams, so using this information we can find how many moles of salt we have. There are 0.87 moles of salt. So when you try to find the molarity, make sure you convert your milliliters to liters. And here is the answer.